Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see about pair trading using spread. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to this channel. Also join our telegram channel for instant updates. Also please like the video if you genuinely like it. Let's get into the video. So this is another interesting strategy in options trading where there is like absolutely no loss or if so, it will be like very minimal loss. It makes it, this strategy interesting. The reason is because it requires very less capital, which is only about around 45,000. So what is pad trading? Pad trading is something that we trade in both the indexes. There is Nifty and Bank Nifty. The capital required to trade in Nifty is 20,000, whereas in Bank Nifty is 25,000. So why do we do pad trading is because we generally have that uh, we would have seen the market like uh, both the indexes like Nifty and Bank Nifty usually travels in the same direction. Either both will be bullish or both will be bearish. It will be only very rare scenario where one will be in bullish view and one will be bearish view. So that is the reason we are going to do in both the indexes and that is called as pad trading. So in this uh, we will be like going long on one side and going short on the other side. So long in the sense we are bullish in the nifty and we are bearish in bank nifty and we are going to do debit spread strategy in this debit spread is nothing but we are going to buy something near the uh, uh, market price like uh, ATM price or ITM and we will be selling OTM in both the indexes like nifty also we will be like uh, ATM will buy and little far away OTM will sell same with the case of bank nifty. And in this video, I have given manual backtesting for the last 15 weeks results, which will be seen in the following slides. In this, there is absolutely no adjustments. So it is very much suitable for working professionals and also part-time traders. Disclaimer, this is only for educational purposes. Please do your research before taking any trade. This is not a recommendation, but just my view. So let's get into the core of the strategy. So when are we going to enter the trade? We will be trading uh, for every weekly expiry. So the previous expiry, that is usually to be a Thursday. So that previous expiry, we are going to enter at 9.30 a.m. Sorry, I've mentioned this p.m. here, it is 9.30 a.m. And we are going to exit on the expiry day, of, expiry day, that is the last day of that Thursday, that week Thursday at uh, again 9.30 a.m. for the current week. So uh, as I said before, like we are going to buy ATM call and sell OTM uh, call option which is 200 strikes away in Nifty and similarly in Bank Nifty we are going to buy ATM put and we are going to sell OTM put, put which is 600 strike away strike price away from the current market price. So example say suppose if Nifty is at 16,000 we will be buying 16,000 call option and selling 16,200 call option. Similarly in Bank Nifty suppose if it is at trading at 38,000 we buy 38,000 put option and sell 37, 4,000 put option. So if uh, I'll give you the real time examples using options, uh, Opstra simulator so that you can get better hold of the strategy. So I have, uh, this is the back tested result of the 15 weeks uh, thing. Let me just uh, show you the best case scenario which has happened on 21st of April where we have gained like 5,400 profit odd. I'll just show you what was the trade that we have taken. So it is on 21st April. So the expiry day is 21st April. And ideally we have to enter on 14th of April, but 14th of April is actually a holiday. So 13th was the previous expiry and we are entering on 13th of uh, uh, April. So 13th of April, 9.30 we are entering. So the ATM at Nifty is 17,650. So we are going to buy 17,650 call option and as per the rules we are going to sell 200 strike price away call option which is 17850 call option so once we do that we have a payoff graph chart like this let me show you on bank and so then we'll have a comparison again the same date 13th of april and 21st of april bank nifty is at 37900 so we are going to buy 37900 put option on lot and 600 strike price away which is 37,300 we are going to sell so you can see this is the rules that I have given like uh, we are buying ATM call option and selling 200 strike away 
call option in Nifty and Bank Nifty we are buying ATM put and selling 600 strike away from marketplace in PE. So let's uh, go to the simulator. So once we do that, the payoff chart, chart will be like uh, in in terms of a uh, bank Nifty, the bearish view will be like full of a uh, profitable zone. And for Nifty, if it is in the bullish zone, it will be in a profitable zone. So now we'll see to see the max profit and max loss here. Say suppose if you are getting max profit here, which is 5,700 and even the max loss here is 5,068. So even in that scenario, even if it is max loss here of 5,068 and if you are ending up with 5,700 odd profit here, then we will be ending at uh, around 700 rupees profit. And similarly here if max profit becomes as 4,200 and suppose this year if we become max profit at 9,000 and we are going to earn 5,000 rupees odd. So obviously there will not be any uh, loss in the strategy if the market is moving either of the direction. If we will get only loss if suppose market is like in nifty it is going in the bearish view and bank nifty it is going in the bullish view like totally both are going into the red zone we will have a loss or else say suppose if we are like stuck in where between this uh, kind of a non parallel line which is this uh, this this kind of line if we getting into this in both the cases then there is a chance that we might get into a loss but that also won't be a very big loss only time when we will have a very big loss is like both the indexes are going in uh, different direction that is the totally unfavorable direction for us which is nifty going in the bear, bearish view and bank nifty going in the bullish view and this scenario as i told you is a real uh, it's a uh, best case scenario for us so in this obviously the nifty will be going into the bearish mode and uh, bank sorry nifty will go to bullish and bank nifty will go to bearish i'll just show how it has went uh, uh, on 21st so we we'll just move day by day so next day only we can see like it has moved to the red zone here and it has never went back again to the green zone or so so we have ended at 4200 odd loss here and in bank nifty as uh, we saw that uh, nifty has went to the bearish mode and because of which we ended in loss in nifty but bank nifty if it goes in bearish mode we'll be in profit so here we are getting profit of 9700 so that is what i would have mentioned here in one side we are collecting 9700 whereas the other side we are losing 4200 and we are finally ending up with 5400 profit and now we'll go to the worst case scenario where uh, market will be like both the sides it's going to the our unfavorable directions which happened on 14th of april so we would have entered the trade on 7th april which is the previous thursday after the 14th 14th april is not a trading day so it is again a 13th april we'll set up the payoff chart first 17700 is the atm so 17700 call option we are buying one 17900 call we are selling one lot this is the payoff graph similarly here we are going to enter on 7th and exit on 13th and our atm is 37400 so 37400 we are going to buy 37400 put 36800 put we are selling so let's see how it goes day by day so we can see like it is in kind of uh, middle of the zones and by 13th of april it is in the red zone only and it is like almost in uh, max loss zone, zone kind of where we are booking loss of 3600 and in bank nifty we will see bank nifty again it has went little bullish more and it is again the red zone it is in the deep red zone actually so 5160 almost the max loss here as well so as i told like this is the case where we are going to see both the side loss and it is like kind of 8700 loss so in this entire 15 weeks you can see like this is the only week which has both the nifty and bank nifty in negative or else you can see like either one will be definitely in positive side so here nifty is negative bank nifty is positive here say suppose nifty is positive and bank nifty is negative so similarly you can see in all the out of 15 only this is the only one week which is having a, a rare probability but yes there is a probability of we are making a very big loss here but rest of the cases we don't make much loss 
and in this you can see like most of these uh, weeks uh, the bank nifty has been in a negative zone which means like market week over week it has went into bearish mode and because of which bank nifty has given more profit so say suppose if you are little you know the direction maybe then maybe if you feel like okay this week uh, bank nifty is going to be bullish or so if your view is that then maybe you can interchange these as well uh, because uh, as i so showed in the payoff chart like always max profit would be more in bank nifty side so whichever direction you feel like uh, market is trending you can take that direction as bank nifty side another direction is nifty for hedging that also can be done but if you are a pure retailer if you are totally a non directional trader then you can take something like this where you can always be bearish on uh, bank nifty and bullish on nifty because even if you are getting loss in overall trade because the market has moved bullish that is the reason you are ending up in loss here because bank nifty would have given you loss in that case maybe your portfolio would have gained little bit of money so it is a better if you choose this way i i am i am totally a non direction trader at least for now so i take these kind of trades to be hedged as well as to be protected in my overall portfolio so i have given the summary here let me show you one more example in simulated the last week so that you will get little more clarity so the last week was like 19th so let me just show you what has happened on 19th of may so 19th of may nifty atm was at 5900 so we are buying 5900 one lot and 1600 one lot we are selling and for bank nifty again 19th is the expiry ATM of Bank Nifty is at thirty-four thousand. So thirty-four thousand we are buying and thirty-three four hundred put we are selling. And let's see how it how our payoff chart will look on nineteenth. So you can see like eighteenth only we are getting a profit in one side like totally, but it is Nifty side so maybe Bank Nifty would have given us a loss. So four thousand and three thousand. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So on that day, it is five seventy two is a loss, and it is profit of four thousand nine hundred and sixty, which I would have maybe showed here like profit of four thousand three ninety five, where bank nifty is again in profit. So out of the fifteen weeks, ten weeks were profit, and overall profit percentage was sixty seven percent, and overall profit is. Twenty one thousand almost. So average loss or profit, uh, the average profit per week is five thousand six hundred. Here the capital required was only forty five thousand. So the return on investment per month is almost twelve percent, which is a very good return. Now the next question comes is like, why can't we do this in the same index? Why do we need to choose a pair trading where Nifty and Bank Nifty? As because there is a chance like. If we do in uh, two index and if both are going in our unfavorable direction, we are ending up in a very big loss, which we will never get in any profit. Even if we make the biggest profit, also we will never get this kind of profit in this kind of uh, if we do this kind of strategy. So for that, I tried out doing the same strategy for the same time frame in Bank Nifty. I tried with Bank Nifty, not with Nifty, because Bank Nifty is the one which shows the highest max profit, so of nine thousand in every week almost. So I thought like, let me try it with Bank Nifty. But the result, what I got is like, let me just show you an example. Maybe the last week again, nineteenth, because we already have this nineteenth of bearish view. Let me just show you the bullish view of Bank Nifty here. So we would have ideally taken, as per our rules, thirty-four thousand call. We would have bought and six hundred points away. Thirty-four six hundred. We would have sold, which means our payoff chart would have looked like that. And by the end of nineteenth, let's see where it goes. So you can see, like, we are ending in loss of six thousand seven hundred. And here we would have ended a profit of four thousand six hundred, and overall it is a loss of thousand seven hundred. So in this case, you can see like yes, we have never made a loss of eight thousand and all. Our maximum loss is in this case, I can hardly see two thousand nine is the maximum loss here, 
and max profit again is like 3094 here also max profit is somewhere around 5000 what a very big difference but here so many weeks you can see like 39 71 21 so it, this doesn't give any it's like totally we will be just paying brokerage in these cases we don't get we don't get money or we don't lose anything but we just pay to the broker so in the summary i can see like out of 15 weeks like only 7 weeks are profitable so it makes which makes 47% and uh, overall profit is like here 21000 whereas here it is only 4000 average profit per week is only 281 still our return on investment is 2% which is good enough 2% return on investment makes 24% per year which is good i will say so if you are a person who doesn't want to take a risk of uh, don't want to see risk of very big loss like 8700 per lot then maybe you can try this strategy where you don't see even 2000 loss in one side on on a day uh, but you don't get very big profit as well so definitely yes if your risk appetite is very less then you can definitely do this strategy but overall i prefer to do the pan trading because that gives me more comfort and more uh, return on investment so overall this is a very good return on investment strategy so we close it usually by morning by 9:30 so that we can do our expiry trades on that day or else even if you are not an expiry day trader then you can just hold the loss making side maybe till 3 o'clock and you can do some adjustment maybe you can roll over one or two strikes and maybe collect little more premium and you can little more reduce the loss if it is so thereby overall increasing the profit here that also can be done also you can try personalizing the strategy with maybe uh, changing the strike price and uh, the the one that i told like for nifty you can use 200 and bank nifty you can do 600 instead you can try off maybe the 300 900 whatever you which you prefer like for as per your risk appetite if you go more strike then risk might be a little more but it is totally up to you it may it, if you feel like market is not going to be like a, a range bone it is going to trend in one direction so much then maybe you can try it it is totally up to you but as per my view this pair trading with this uh, strike price which i have demonstrated has given me good benefit and i hope this will be continuing for at least next few months as well as long as vix is in this range if vix is little too low between maybe uh, below 15 then i guess this might not give a uh, very good return maybe by that time you have to come up with this some different strategies for now i think this is good enough for this so by next week we will again see with some interesting strategy thank you